first can always explain something that's familiar to me or what state I'm currently in in my personal life. Like, I don't think of the technical side. First, I just sit and think about what I've done in life. So there's a lot of introspection involved. And then I decide what palette or what colors to use and what surface. I think I'm kind of known for the dots and those dots really were just kind of like, um, I just figured those one out to correct a mistake that I had made in a painting. So I was trying to figure out how to fix a watercolor painting that I screwed up and then I was like, okay, why don't I cover the problem areas with wash paint? And it worked. So, so that's kind of how I paint them. Just like in life, you know, like in real life, you make a mistake, you try to fix it and make it better. Make it uh, being around fellow Subano artists, uh, whenever I'm with them, I always learn so much and I always kind of, I like their works already, but um, after sitting down with them, having a few drinks and sharing stories, I, you know, it's really, there's a deeper level of respect for each one of them. So I like that. Also, I really like going to artist residency. So it's because it's all, it's, it's, it's about learning from other people and learning about yourself also, so I think that's always fun. Let's start with Subu. There are so many. Let's or international. Um, I really like Jenny Seville. Uh, her large scale figurative new paintings. I love her. Uh, I like Alex Kanelsky. Um, uh, I like Adrian Chemi, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Vicky Smith, Alice Neal, Hong Liu, all those books that I have over there. I like David Clark, Lucian Freud, uh, Basquiat, everybody loves Basquiat. Manila, mm -hmm. and I like Chucky Coronel, and Elaine Navas, and Ron Villeseran. Rodel Tapaya, uh, sa Cebu? Or the Ipon? Is that it? Ronyan, Tonfra, Gigi Pablo, Yvonne, Cindy, Jewel Young. Am I being biased here? <laughs> but Yvonne is something Jewel Young, Miss Gigi Alcampo, Mom found it too good. Too many. I could name all of them, the ones that I like, but those are the ones that I like. I like the work, the work that they do. So really not just because they're women, but also yeah, okay. Because <laughs> no, but first of all, because I like the work. work. Yeah. Yeah. My art first. I think definitely the colors that are that I use have been influenced by all of those artists combined. The point why do I like this artist? But this artist is so different from this artist, right? But why do I like them? Ah, that's because they have similar color palette and I find that what draws me to a painting is really like the colors, colors. first. I'm not afraid to um, to be true to themselves. Um, they don't compromise anything. So it's, they believe in their own work. So they really okay this is what I want to do this is what I will do so I can do what I want to do, you know, and um, it's important to not care so much about what other people say, just focus on your own work, your own um, development as an artist, but you just focus on that because I feel like the, I think it goes hand in hand now. The better you become as an artist, I think you also become a better person in the long run. So, so the more, or it could go the other way around. You could become a better artist and go totally nuts. But, right? But it depends. But that's basically what I learned from. Keep working. You, you soon as you lose, uh, and you don't play it too safe. 
now, but also don't go too crazy. Ah, Asha. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Veterinarian. Yes. <laughs> Veterinarian. When when I was a I think from six years old to maybe 14, people would ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? Veterinarian or a chef? 